Hey guys, it's January and it's cold and we had a major snowstorm for our area. I mean, it's not really a major snowstorm, but for our area, it was a pretty good smacker and I'm cold and I've got a migraine headache. I've had it for 18 days now and I don't feel good, but I want some comfort food. And one of the things that I decided I really wanted was a caramel apple, but that's not realistic right now. So I thought what I would do is try a variation on the caramel latte bread. Okay, this is one of our best products. Uh, it came out uh, in September, I believe, and honestly, I made it the first time and it didn't even last 30 minutes on the counter. It, it wasn't even cold by the time it was gone. Um, my whole family, including my littles, love the caramel latte bread. And who doesn't love a caramel latte? I love a caramel latte. So what I thought I would do today is I'm going to make a variation on the caramel latte bread. We do have an apple spice bread mix that we made, uh, we sold for Christmas. It's gone now. Um, and I've made all of mine. And one of the things that I really love in the fall and winter is caramel apple cider. It's one of my very favorites. And I know that, you know, people might go, um, caramel apple latte, but yeah, caramel apple latte. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to make a variation on a caramel apple latte. So what I'm doing for you is spiced cider instead of the water in the recipe. I'm actually adding some um, apples that I'm going to cut up and saute a little bit with some cinnamon and sugar and some butter. Oh my gosh, you know, how good is that? And um, mix it all together and then I'm going to make it in our extra size, the, the extra large muffin pan. So they look like little cakes. I'm kind of excited by it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop this and then I'm going to put it on fast. And I'm going to film the whole process and then I'll put it all together and I'll put it on table time for you. And if you want to try it, please let me know because I think it's so exciting when you guys try our recipes. All right. I love seeing it when you guys share like a favorite product or when you share a recipe that we've shared on the, the page or in a party. All right. So I'm going to stop this and I'm going to start filming the, the whole prep and put it together and bake it and all that stuff. And I'll show you at the end. Okay. I hope you guys are having a great day and please let me know if you make this stuff. All right, take care guys, see you soon.
gone the right number of minutes, I think. Let's check it out, okay? You ready? <gasps> Ooh, look how pretty. All right, handy dandy cake tester. It's done. Turn the oven off. Okay, I'm gonna let that set for a minute. I tell you what, I love that oil spritzer. It is so awesome. I don't know if you guys realize this, but when you use like Pam, which is great, I've used it for years, but have you ever noticed that yellow thick buildup that gets onto your pans and you can't get it off? Yeah, that's because of the pan. When you use the oil spritzer, the kitchen spritzer, I have one that's got olive oil and I have one that has vegetable oil. When you use that, it washes clean and there is no yellow icky buildup. It's phenomenal. So, yeah. I highly recommend it. One of the best investments. I am going to go get a rack. I'll be right back. Okay, rack obtained. It's time to get these puppies out of the pan. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So clean. This is beautiful, and the smell is divine. It's like apple cider meets coffee cake. smell is amazing. Okay, so I thought I might make some honey butter, but I think maybe that's overload. All right, so we're just going to let these cool, and that's going to be my morning snack. Actually, probably lunch. Again, if you guys try any of these recipes, please share with us. I just love it when somebody you know, try something that I've recommended because it kind of makes my heart feel happy. All right, you guys, I hope you have an awesome day. It's not quite the 6th of January yet, so yes, my tree is still up. Yes, I love Christmas. And yes, I still have a migraine, so I have no intention of working that hard. Okay, obviously I didn't work that hard for these, and these are phenomenal. All right, take care, you guys. I hope you have an awesome day. Happy January. Bye.